Hi, I'm Liesl from Amalyze, and today we'll be talking about our lists feature. Sometimes you probably don't want to just take a look at the data we provide, but you'd also like to use it in one of our other tools or even in an external tool. Wouldn't it be great if you had some kind of a clipboard where you could add the keywords or the ASIN you'd like to work with and then use that clipboard in a different tool or export it into an Excel file? This is exactly what our lists are built for. E.g., you can add the keywords you'd like to work with into an already existing list or create a new one and use this list in one of our other tools. You can also open the list and edit its content directly i.e. add a new keyword manually or remove any duplicates. And of course, you can also export our lists to an Excel file and use them in any of your other tools. If you've created a keyword list, you're able to use it over and over in our tools. Once you change the list's content, it'll be applied to all of the queries you use that specific list for. With this, you don't have to adjust any saved filters. Just change the keywords in the list at its unique space and it'll automatically update all of your queries. So let's take a look and see why lists are such an important feature in our tool. Here we're in the keyword database and we'll be using the example LED strip. Just type in LED strip, then submit, and you'll see all matching keywords. By checking the checkboxes on the left, you can mark your relevant keywords and simultaneously the add to list function will appear. You can also check the first 100 keywords or you can scroll through the pages and mark the top checkbox of the last page you want to use the keywords for. By marking the last page of your desired keywords, all keywords on the previous pages will be marked automatically. As you can see, we marked 400 of 7,600 keywords and can now add them to a list. To do so, click the Add to List button. Now you can add them to a recently used list or go to the Explorer and create a new keyword list. As you can see here, you can also add your keywords to one of your specific folders. In our example, we'll be using a new keyword list. Just name it and click confirm. Now the file has been created and the 400 previously selected keywords have been added. To add more data to this list, just add another keyword to your filter and click submit again. Check the checkboxes as before, select Add to List, then go to Recently Used or to the Explorer to add it to the previously created list. And those keywords have also been added to this list. We now have 400 plus 100 keywords added to our list. To manage this list, go to the Explorer in your Shield tool. Open the list you'd like to edit, make any necessary changes to your data, erase any duplicates, or even add new keywords manually, which brings us to 398 remaining keywords on the list. You can also use this list in other tools, for example, in the Significant Terms tool. Reset your last search and you'll find Import From List on the left side of your tool. Just click on it to use a recently used list or go to the Explorer and choose your list there. Then click on Submit and your list data will be directly inserted over here. As you can see, our filter takes the 398 keywords from our list into consideration. By clicking on the three dot icon next to the Submit button, you can go to the Entities tool and your list will automatically be imported here as well. By clicking on the three dot icon next to the More Actions button, you can either add more keywords to your list or you can create a completely new list. We'll be creating a new list, LED Strip Locations. 
Now that the lists are ready, as a basis for structured data, we can head over to our Listing Builder tool. Here you can use the lists by clicking on the More Actions button, Add from List, then Recently Used. Choose one of your lists and the available keywords will be updated immediately. Of course, you can also add more data. Click on Available Keywords, then Add From List, and choose a list from a recently used list or from the Explorer. Afterwards, both added lists will show up in one overview. To remove any of your added lists, just click on Available Keywords, Use Lists, and uncheck the checkbox of the list you'd like to remove. And last but not least, you can always find all of your lists in the Explorer. Just click on the folder icon on the right-hand side of your Shield 2 tool, and you'll see all of your lists. Here you can move them around via drag and drop, delete them, or you can also create a new list. As you can see, creating lists and keeping your data well organized is a great way to save time and work. You can store, manage, and structure your data without the fear of losing your saved work unless it's deleted. Go give it a try, you won't be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, happy analyzing.